Is it the fear of death that is tormenting you? The fear of suffocating, Monsignor. At Caporetto, a shell buried my unit. I was the lone survivor. God spared your life. May he bring peace to your soul. His word guides me through my trials. After my nightmare, I opened the Bible and read this passage from Isaiah. Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell, to the sides of the pit. Ah, no. You use the Bible to interpret your dreams. Please, don't sink to superstition. Your Eminence, since God rules the world, nothing happens by chance. Everything is the expression of his will. Everything must have a sense. And it is not in the power of man to discover it. Ah, no. Your hunger for answers leads you astray. Please, let's get back to the matter at hand. The congregation is sending you to Vladovisti in the bishopric of Alba Iula. In Transylvania? The region has just been annexed by Romania, has it not? To be sure. They speak mostly Romanian there, as well as a little Hungarian and German. Three languages you know well. You will investigate the case of Martha Kalugarul, a physician and scientist who died a few months ago. And we're already investigating? Uh, mm -hmm. The postulator of her cause has presented solid arguments to justify a rapid process. Naturally, this mustn't influence you, but you know your duty, don't you, Mr. Devil's Advocate? <laughs> Devil's Advocate, Promoter of the Faith. Monsignor Briganti has entrusted me with a great responsibility. God help me be worthy of it. Will Martha Caligaro one day be counted among the saints of the Catholic Church? I hope so, but truth must prevail. My investigation must leave nothing in the dark. Before anything else, Let's try to find that inn where I reserved my room. Come in! It's open! Come here! I'm in the kitchen! Hello, miss. I'm Father Arno Moriani. I am Dr. Maria Florescu. Have you come from the Vatican, Father? Ah, I see that news travels quickly. <laughs> Ozana is a chatterbox, you know. So, I've learned that you reserved a room at the inn, and that you've come with regard to the canonization of Martha Calogarol. To be more exact, I'm here to conduct a preliminary inquiry. In fact, I'd like to ask you a few questions in that respect. But, I hope I'm not bothering you, Doctor. Call me Maria, please, and I'd be very happy to help you. I've read the research she published. I also know about her through what the villagers say, and from the traces she left in this house. She led an austere life and worked a great deal. Her only distraction was photography. All her equipment is still here. I'd wanted to set myself up since the end of my studies, but I didn't have the money to buy a practice. The Vesnesia Foundation offered me this job after the death of Dr. Caligaro. I accepted it right away. I'm put up, I earn a salary for tending to the poor, and I can develop a small private practice on the side. Just across from the dispensary, the big red house, you can't miss it. Don't hesitate to come back if you think I can help you, or I can stop by the inn if you prefer. You will always be welcome. But please, don't go to the trouble. I'll come by again. That huge, brightly lit building must be the inn. Hello, ma'am. I'm Father Arno Moriani. Ah! 
You're the one who's come from Rome about Martha. Hello, Father. Your room's waiting. First one on the right at the top of the staircase. You already got a letter. I'll put it on your table. Thank you, ma'am. Hosanna, Father. Call me Hosanna. It's the name they christened me with. Oh, yeah. Really well. She saved my kid, you see. He was real sick. She sent him to the seashore. The doctor put it like this. Hosanna, your boy's got to change climates. And if it'll make the difference for you, I'll pay the expenses. That woman was truly a saint. I often go pray on her grave. A lovely girl. But she's got a way about her, if you see what I mean. You can tell right off she's not from around here. Oh, yes, one thing. Young Master Peckmister told me he'd sure like to meet you. Mr. Peckmister? Yeah, Janos Peckmister. He's one of my lodgers. He got the room across from yours. He's in the parlor right now. Very well. I'll go say hello now. Hello, Father. Delighted to meet you. I'm Janos Peckmester, assistant professor in the medieval history department at the University of Alba Iula. Father Arno Moriani of the Congregation of Rites. I won't ask you what you've come here for. The whole village is aware of it. And you? What brings you to Vladaviste? I'm verifying some locations and doing a little excavation at the Castle of Twilight on the heights near the village. That must be fascinating. Is the structure well preserved? Before the war, it was in perfect condition. Unfortunately, it suffered enormously during the 1916 counteroffensive. Just between us, it was a terrible defeat for the Romanian army. Without its allies' help, Romania would never have obtained Transylvania. We can hope so. I was in the war as a priest medic in the Italian army. I was at Asiago and Caporetto. As for me, I prefer forgetting all those years. That's the wise thing to do. I wish I could do the same. Do you want to meet me tomorrow at the Castle of Twilight? You can see the ruins from the village. To get up there, go through the crossroads of the Broken Oak. That would be a great pleasure. This must be my room. A missive from the Diocese of Alba Iula. It concerns Martha. This biography cannot be objective, of course, but it helps to capture Martha's personality. It's about time I seriously started my investigation. <laughs> 